Merry Christmas! We are on our second day of our Christmas season, and today we are going to read Humphrey's First Christmas, written and illustrated by Carol Heyer. Beloved, most beauteous and exalted king of all should be my name. Instead, they call me Humphrey. That I could bear, but my glorious blanket has been lost along the trail. Now I am never warm and I suffer terribly, so I have come up with a plan to replace my blanket, my greatest of all treasures. First, I nudge my nose inside my master's tent. My chattering teeth tell him that I am enormous, enormously cold. Success! He has not pushed me out, and I am hopeful that a new blanket will soon be mine. Three royal caravans have joined us, but these kings bring me no joy. They have tied three huge, huge chests to my bare back. The chests are so heavy, I am sure each must be filled with rocks. The other camels have the finest of blankets. They are comfortable and warm. Not one of them thinks about me. I am in pain and misery without my precious blanket. I cry out in sorrow. Soon I continue my plan. I add loud sniffling to the chattering of my teeth. Then I squeeze my entire body inside my master's tent. When I do, my master rolls out. The tent is exactly camel-sized. It is just as I planned. The master chases me away. He tosses me a new blanket. Once more, I am warm and comfortable. I am filled with delight. If it were not for the heavy chests I am forced to carry, I would be almost happy. The caravan has followed one star for many nights. Now we enter the town of Bethlehem. Its streets and inns are crowded with travelers. My master gives no thought to my tired feet and rumbling belly. I am forced to keep moving. At last we reach the end of our journey, but I am confused. There is no great palace for the kings. There is only a lowly stable with a family inside. The three kings rejoice and rush forward to bow before the young woman who holds a baby. Finally, the chests are, are taken off my back and placed before this tiny child. As each box is opened, I see no rocks, only gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I kneel before this baby shivering in a manger. Watching him makes me happier than water, fresh hay, or even my wondrous new blanket. I look into the baby's eyes and I am overwhelmed by love. I pull the blanket from my back and I lay it carefully upon the child. 
He smiles, and my nose and whiskers tingle with joy. I am happy to my toes, and even without my blanket, I feel warm. Beloved, most beauteous and exalted king of all should be his name. Instead, they call him Jesus. Hope you guys enjoyed.